The world of Red Dead Redemption 2 is full of insignificant encounters that may or may not wind up carrying some form of weight. In today's video we are going to be looking at one of the encounters that does seem to carry a little bit of weight come the end, as we are going to be in Strawberry helping a boy locate his lost dog. Before we get cracking I just want to say that this video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet, who sent me this lovely compact wallet. No more carrying around a big chunky obnoxious wallet that bulges in your pants, the Ridge Wallet is subtle and efficient, making it fashionable. The wallet holds up to 12 cards plus space for cash. It comes in over 30 different colours, including carbon fibre and burnt titanium, meaning you can get one that looks right for you. I chose the aluminium navy option because I quite like the colour blue. On top of all this, the Ridge Wallet is incredibly durable and comes with a lifetime warranty. In theory, it could outlive you. So if you can't be bothered splashing on a new wallet every single time your old one falls apart, then definitely check these bad boys out. Look at all the space you'll be saving in your pocket. On top of this, the wallet is made with RFID blocking technology, which protects you from digital pickpocketers. The Ridge has over 30,000 five-star reviews. You can trust them to deliver a quality product. And on top of that, you can test the Ridge wallet for a 45-day trial, and if you're not satisfied, you can send it back for a full refund. Use the code FISHY for 10% off with free worldwide shipping and returns over at ridge.com forward slash fishy. You'll be able to find the link and the code in the description and comments as well. But now, back to the video. Now that's out of the way, I'm sure you all know where Strawberry is, but if you don't, it's a hefty distance southwest of Valentine. The earliest I can get the encounter to trigger is Chapter 6, so you have to be somewhat late in the game. When you arrive in the town, you'll come across a boy searching for his dog. Hey mister, have you seen my dog? I I've been looking everywhere for her. <laughs> She's been gone for hours. Can you help me find her? Please? Sure, I'll keep an eye out. She's a foxhound, you know, white and brown. If you find her, I live in a house on the edge of town. Thank you, mister. The search area is the entirety of Strawberry, so it's not necessarily a small space. However, it shouldn't be too difficult to locate the dog. In all my time playing Red Dead Redemption 2, I've done this encounter twice, and on both times the dog was in a different spot. But looking around the outskirts of the town, you won't be going far wrong. You can pick up the dog's trail, and before you see her, you will hear her barking. Come here, girl. When you find the dog, she will follow you. Now you're tasked with bringing the dog back to the boy, who lives in this infamous house here, but more on why that's significant in a moment. Once we bring the dog back to the chap, he'll say this. Thank you, thank you, mister. We ain't never spent a night apart. She's the closest thing to a family I got left. She's the closest thing to a family I got left. That seems a bit sad. This poor boy has lost his family. But how, you're probably wondering. Well, if you recall back to chapter 2, there's a mission in which we break Micah out of the Strawberry Jail. It turns into a total bloodbath pretty quickly, when Micah unnecessarily fights his way towards this very same house. Once there, Micah murders the occupants in cold blood, and it's delivered in a way that's meant to feel shocking and disturbing. Skinny! Get out here! Skinny, Micah, it's Norman. Go! Oh. You always was a letdown, you oh. fat sack of crap! Oh. Excuse me a minute, Arthur. Oh. Hello, Maddie. Did you miss me? Micah murders the occupants of this house, this very same house that this boy claims to live in, and he says that the only family he has left is his dog. It leaves a lot up to the imagination, but I do suppose this is the child of Norman and Maddie, the pair that Micah killed. So this is the game implying a somber impact to that moment we experienced in Chapter 2. After all, Micah and Arthur massacred the town, that does tend to leave an impact. And so when you think about it, the boy you can encounter here also has a connection to Micah being a son of a former outlaw who rode with him once. If that that doesn't highlight this game's great attention to detail, then I really don't know what will. And though we can't bring the boy's family back because they're dead, it's good that we can at least reunite him with his dog. You keep an eye on her, kid. 
Thus concluding today's video, which I would have done sooner, however, this game has a very annoying habit where if you go out of your way to look for an encounter, it will never happen. So it took me a few days, on and off of course, to actually trigger it. However, I believe that concludes today's video, so thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, be sure to go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff, that would be fantastic. And with any luck, I'll see you all very soon with another video at some point, but until then, goodbye.